These images are going to remind the world that America can do big things, that there's nothing beyond our capacity, nothing beyond our capacity. It was anticipated that the James Webb Space Telescope, operated by NASA, would send back some amazing photographs. These expectations are currently being exceeded. In today's video, we will be discussing what the James Webb Telescope can reveal about deep space, are there more images to be revealed, and how will it affect the way that scientists view space? Let's get into it. A million miles or so from Earth, NASA launched the Webb Telescope into orbit. From there, it captured images of its initial targets, including mysterious nebulas and glimmering galaxies. The five galaxies in Stefan's Quintet, the Carina Nebula, the Southern Ring Nebula, and the planet WASP-96b, a searing hot gas ball, are the cosmic bodies that NASA lists till now. It has demonstrated that it has a very long viewing range, both forward and backward. It was able to detect light that was released when the universe was only a few billion years old. And those are just the first images. Think about the many years of images and other things we are going to learn with this telescope about potentially habitable planets. We're going to learn a lot of that over time, not just the first images, says Gregory Robinson, program director for Webb. Even the Hubble Space Telescope can't compare to the unheard of instrumentation on the Webb Telescope. It's not that the Hubble hasn't produced any significant discoveries in the past three decades. Nonetheless, the Webb Telescope is going far further. It can detect things that were previously unidentified and distinguish light that was too faint for any telescope to have seen. Revelations of what's behind SMAX 0723 The beginning and the end of the cosmos is unknown. Beyond SMAX 0723, there may be more galaxies, stars, and who knows what else. But it's likely that we won't see them for a very long time. The huge mass of the hundreds of galaxies in SMAX 0723, as NASA goes on to explain, can cause them to emerge from hiding. By distorting the light as smaller things behind larger objects in space, it produces a gravitational lensing effect, which magnifies those smaller objects. This enables the telescope to detect even farther off galaxies, which NIRC CAM then focuses. The observations that produce this image revealed galaxies that were up to 13.1 billion light years away. Further observations may reveal details about events occurring in the early cosmos that we may not have previously envisioned, even though they are currently only seem as flimsy glimmers of light in the background. According to Webb physicist Ken Sembach, over time, as the space continuum stretched with the expansion of the universe, the light itself was stretched. As that light has crossed the universe, it's gotten redder, and it's been on its way for 13 and a half billion years. Light travels through space at a speed of 186,000 miles per second, according to Bill Nelson, administrator of NASA. As far back as 13 and a half billion years, he thinks the Webb telescope may wind up witnessing almost to the beginning. New stars are emerging in the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula. Dust fills the universe. According to NASA, this dust scatters too easily, making it difficult for visible light to pass through it. As a result, telescope observations are frequently hampered by this dust. The Webb telescope, however, has infrared perception. and in masses of gas and dust like the cosmic cliffs of the Carina Nebula, the molecules are packed closely together, but these longer infrared wavelengths can pass through them. According to NASA, stars forming in the cliffs, also known as NGC 3324, which are hidden by the hazy, dusty globs that are seen while observing invisible light, were previously too dim to be observed. The pictures were taken thanks to MIRI and NIRC CAM present in the Webb Telescope. The Webb Telescope will also be able to observe how this region's starbirth explosion has an impact on the nebulous towering clouds. Scientists are still learning about the effects of younger, smaller, very energetic stars, which are capable of gnawing away at the gas and dust in a nebulous core with their intense stellar winds and bursts of energy. More than their brighter siblings, the Carina Nebula contains a great deal more of these stars, but earlier difficulties in observing them have left many of them as unknowns. The number of newborn stars concealed in the cosmic cliffs and their impact on the nebula's evolution would eventually become clear through the Webb Telescope. More information about star formation will be provided. There are still a lot of mysteries surrounding star formation despite the recent illumination of many hitherto obscure areas. The Webb Telescope will be able to recognize more signs and patterns and provide more information on how stars are formed. A nebula's material is what drives the star forming process. 
According to NASA, the cosmic cliffs are actually the border of the huge gaseous cavity within NGC 3324. This cavity was scoured by stellar winds and ultraviolet radiation from hot, massive stars. More stars will form when the cavity yawns wider and more material collapses. According to NASA, starbirth occurs when enormous clouds of dust start to collapse in on themselves because they can no longer withstand their gravity. When the center of such a cloud becomes extremely hot, protostars start to form. The majority of star systems contain at least two or three stars since these star embryos are frequently twins or triplets that form from the same gaseous mass. Consider Tatooine with its dual suns. They may produce planets or asteroids from some of the debris that they shed during development. The blazing hot gaseous planet WASP-96b has water. According to NASA, the Webb telescope has proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that water exists in the atmosphere of this hostile planet. Earlier observations had detected what were believed to be water molecules there, and WASP-96b's clouds, the telescope was able to clearly detect the water signature. The telescope's NIRISS Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph equipment, whose fine guidance sensor provides it with the utmost precision, was able to accomplish this. As a result, NIRISS may see in three different modes that each view a different light wavelength. According to the space agency, it spends six and a half hours watching WASP-96b pass in front of its star. The planet crawled across space in front of its star, obstructing some illumination. NIRISS developed a light curve that illustrated the slow fading of light brought on by the planet, but it went farther than that. According to NASA, the telescope sent back a transmission spectrum that was created by comparing starlight measured while a planet is near a star to unfiltered starlight detected when a planet is moving across the star through its atmosphere. It revealed the quantities of atmospheric gases, the presence of clouds, haze, and most importantly, water vapor. Shells of gas and dust expelled by dying stars in addition, the JWST observed the Southern Ring Nebula, a planetary nebula formerly known as NGC 3132, which gave researchers additional insights into the fate of dying stars. Two photographs of this nebula, one taken with JWST's mid-infrared sensor and the other in near-infrared light with the scope's NIRC cam, were displayed by NASA. An expanse of gas and cosmic dust produced by fading stars is known as planetary nebula. This specific one, which is around 2,500 light years away, was also captured by the Hubble Space Telescope, but NASA claims that this new image from JWST gives additional information about the exquisite structures that surround the binary star system. The fainter dying star is on the lower left of the two stars and the brighter earlier stage star is on the right. The two stars are best seen in the right image. The pictures also reveal what NASA refers to as shells enclosing the stars, with each represent a time when the white dwarf in the lower left of the right image, a dying star that is getting fainter, lost mass. NASA claimed that because it has been ejecting this material for countless years, it has a three-dimensional shape that is more equivalent to two bowls that have been joined at the bottom and are opened in opposite directions. The cosmic spotlight is shining on enormous black holes. Every galaxy's nucleus is home to a supermassive black hole. A gigantic black hole or active galactic nucleus AGN, is present in NGC 7319, one of the Stefan Quintet galaxies. To see it and what it ejected in the clearest possible way, the JWST peered through the dust. NASA estimates that the black hole in NGC 7319 has a mass of 24 million solar masses. Due to its enormous gravitational attraction, the material is constantly falling into its gaping mouth and being violently expelled from it which is what puts the active in active galactic nucleus. With NIRS spec and MIRI, the JWST was able to get a close-up of it and record all the information possible, which resulted in ultra-high resolution infrared data. You require infrared light that can penetrate the dust and gas that surrounds AGNs as stated on the JWST's AGN page. The energy released by this black hole, which eats anything that comes too close, is equivalent to that of 40 billion suns. Another supermassive black hole will soon be in the sights of the JWST. Even though this one is not part of Stefan's Quintet, determining its mass may be able to shed some light on the feeding patterns of AGNs and the damage that can cause to galaxies. With the powerful jets they shoot out in either direction, they may have an impact on the galaxies they reside in. 
Additionally, when galaxies and the supermassive black holes they contain merge, the black holes are fed with even more material as they get closer to one another. Now that you know some of the amazing discoveries being made possible by the James Webb Telescope, let us know what you think in the comment section below and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. For more content like this, please subscribe to our channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any updates from us. We'll see you next time and thanks for watching.